Well, hello there, time travelers, and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to this channel and enjoy learning about history, not only from the US, but from around the world, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today, we're gonna start out in 1333, when Scottish forces were defeated by Eng the English under King Edward III in Battle of Hallandon Hill. Moving on to 1545, when during the Battle of Solent, the Mary Rose, a warship that often served as a flagship of the English fleet, sank in the Strait of the English Canal. The wreck was raised in 1982 and put on display in 2013. On this day in 1848, the women's suffrage movement in the United States was launched with the opening, opening of Seneca Hill, or Seneca Falls, I'm sorry, a convention which sought to gain certain rights and privileges for women, notably the right to vote. Um, moving on to 1860, when Lizzie Borden, who was suspected of murdering her stepmother and father, but was acquitted on, in a trial that became a national sensation in the United States, was born in River Falls, Massachusetts. Ten years later, in 1870, the French Emperor Napoleon III declared war on uh, Persia beginning the Franco-German War. Uh, 16 years later, in 1886, Hungarian piano Verdusso and composer Franz Liz Lizitz uh, played the piano for the last time in a concert in Luxembourg. 1903 is when French bicyclist Maurice Guerin won the first Tour de France, which covered 2,428 kilometers, or 1,508 miles. In 1922, American liberal Democratic politician George S. McGovern, who served as a U.S. Senator from 1962 to 1980 and was an unsuccessful candidate for presidency in 1972 was born in Avon, South Carolina. Oh, I'm sorry, South Dakota. Um, 1940 is when Chancellor Hitler in an address to the Rundstag said that the British had a choice of withdrawing from war or seeing their empire destroyed. Seven years later, in 1947, Aung San, Burmese national leader and prime minister, was assassinated in Ragoon, uh, Yangon, Myanmar. Um, 1965 is when American wild animal tamer Clyde Betty, who was known for his fighting act, which was designed to show his coverage and mastery of the forceous animal under his control, died at the age of 62. 1980 is when the Summer Olympics opened in Moscow, though some 60 countries refused to attend because of the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan in 1979. It was the largest boycott in history of the Olympic movement. That's actually one of the things where every country actually comes together in unison for one specific reason. Anyway, in 1983, an extensive report on U.S. education indicated that the public school system needed 
far research, reaching restriction, restructuring to address deeply enriched and virtual chronic problems. John I. Goodlin, a former Dean of the Graduate School of Education at the University of California at Los Angeles, directed the eight-year study. Basic data were obtained, were obtained by 43 researchers who attended uh, classes in 13 communities. that's starting to peel, um, and evaluated tens of thousands of interviews and questionnaires. Among Goodland's recommendation were early schooling, smaller schools, and core general education for all high school students. And the abolish, um, abolition of tracking the assessment of students of like abilities in the same classrooms. I actually remember one uh, school year, my IEP teacher was actually impressed that one in one grade year, I went and my reading level went from, it jumped three grade levels went from like a, I was reading on a fifth grade level to like an eighth grade level. If I was in like 10th tenth, tenth grade, it went to as if I was reading two grade levels below where I was at. Though my math level was one grade level below where I was supposed to be at. Anyway, sidetrack. And 1990, BASF BAS plant and Sanati explodes in flames where one person dies. Um, six years later in 1996, Jason Galline scores 312 in 683 uh, minutes for Lancashire versus Derbyshire. Seven years after the turn of the century, the first episode of Mad Men aired in 2007, and the series, which starred John Hamm, quickly became a critical and commercial hit, noted for its notorious represent, representation of social life in the 1960s and for its style, stylish visual flair. And finally, 2014 is when American actor James Garner, who was perhaps best known for his roles in the television series Maverick and the Rockford Files, died at the age of 86. And with that, we return to 2024 and our current history. I'll see you all in the next one.